you are very welcome to this video. Last time we looked at putting a stitching line around and a groove line around some five centimeters square approximately pieces of leather and after that video I had a, a thought because in this video we're going to be using pricking irons and they're relatively sharp they are okay. um, so I, I suddenly thought that these are a specific size so if you are making something you need to design the line or the length of the line to be a multiple of the size of the pricking iron now I haven't actually done that um, I actually designed the size of the piece at five centimeters and this is a five millimeter pricking iron so that basically means that here this this line here is 44 millimeters which is not a multiple of five so therefore I'm going to have a problem actually making it fit so maybe an idea is that when you're designing something you need to to design it so that the length of the stitching line or your stitching if you're having to overlap something is an exact multiple if possible of your pricking iron uh, the other thing I'd like to mention is that today we're in a slightly different position with the camera. This is because I'm going to be using a mallet. I brought one up from downstairs and I know that it makes quite a lot of noise when I hit on the table. So I've moved the camera tripod off the table. I hope everything is still visible. So today's video, after that long introduction, is about using these pricking irons and how easy they are to use. Now I've done a little bit of research and I found that when you actually remove them from your piece of leather, you should not move them side to side, but you should do it forwards and backwards like that. Um, not a hundred percent sure why I know it's they say it's so that you don't widen the hole but if you move it forward and backward you're widening the hole anyhow so maybe it's just that if you do it forwards and backwards the the fact that it's been widened uh, longitudinally will be hidden by the stitches I don't know anyhow they do say that you should put a piece of leather underneath I have a, a nylon board underneath that um, the piece of leather is to protect the the prongs to keep to try and keep them sharp so I'm told as I say I have been doing some research I'll just move that onto there and we'll try with the heavier one now I'm told that you should line up the the points on the line like that and give it a couple of sharp taps so move it backwards and forwards I'm not even anywhere near through there now I don't know if you can see that but I've actually gone past the line so that's another thing I've learned is that when you actually do line up your pricking irons you must be a little bit shy of the end line otherwise you're going to go past it so let's try again I might need a, a heavier mallet I still haven't gone through Ooh, this is proving quite difficult Right, that's gone through, but I don't know if you can see, it's not really gone through enough, so a bit more. I think I'm going to need a heavier mallet, to tell you the truth. That's, uh, that's gone through, so forwards. Ooh, that's taking some 
right forwards and backwards and as you can see you get a, a diamond shaped line so a diamond shaped hole which uh, helps with your sewing and the placing of the thread so that the thread makes a nice pattern so we put the previous prong in there and give it a good hit yeah, it needs a, it needs a very good hit it needs a very good hit to get the prongs all the way through the I should actually call them tines but we'll call them prongs and oh it's taking a bit of getting out but yes forward and backwards is probably the best way I don't know if you can see that but the the center hole which I went through twice is very slightly bigger but I don't think that will be noticeable anyhow we'll try going round because I actually started with the point on the line it's gone past the line as I mentioned before but it's meant that that one is just shy of the line which is interesting because if my calculations are correct that line there is only 44 centimeters I will check it later but let's do a bit more so where are we we will now this is the problem I think I'm going to need to do it that way I need three good hits actually three good hits took some getting out I think the fact is that it's also quite a small piece of leather so it's a bit difficult um, you can see that this time it's well short of the end so you could actually put ooh, you could actually put a single right on the the end point so let's just try that and see what happens make sure I've got it the right way around and if there is so we'll just move it slightly in from the end and whoa right lesson learnt the single goes through very easily whereas the the five uh, the six prong so it does not so ooh. so the single goes through exceptionally easily and it's gone right into the the board as well the cutting board here so because I hit it a bit hard you can see it there right let's move down this side so we'll put the on the line it seems that three for this piece of leather or this thickness of leather is about right I might need I'm told you can sharpen these they, they do feel quite sharp but I'm told you can sharpen them I don't know if you can see the the pattern and if we do one more So it's taking a bit of getting through and so forwards and backwards forwards and backwards 
and again I'm a little bit shy of the line so top tip measure the line with the tines the prongs on your picking uh, your pricking iron to get it the right length okay I hope you found that useful uh, so one of the things I learned that the smaller the number of prongs the easier it is to put it through the leather and as you can see that one went a long way through right into the the board I actually went right up the leather was like that it was right up to the, the end so um, has it made any real difference there I don't think so but as you can see they're not equal so that is something that you will need to work on when you're designing a piece is make sure if you're OCD like me I will notice that forever I will so thank you for watching uh, next time we'll try sewing we will so I'm going to um, put some holes in this piece here and we will try sewing a piece of leather thank you